Hey what's going on guys, James here and today I've got a little bit of a treat for you guys. I'm going to be teaching you how to code name protect. Now a lot of you guys have been requesting for name protect, you've been sending me PMs and today I'm actually going to be teaching you how to code it. Um, I'm really bored and I really don't know what to do and at these kind of times I really look at you guys, at your suggestions and I really take some time to decide which ones to do because I really want to give you guys something that you would want to watch and something that will really help your client so yeah today I'm going to be teaching name protect so basically what name protect is it changes your name from your point of view now to explain furthermore if you have an alt or let's say there's two of you you have you and you have your friend so your friend logs on to the server with an alt called player127 and you log in with you know you're just a regular account and and you code name protect so that it changes your friend's name to whatever you want so let's say we change it to Moglin every time you log into the server uh, every time both of you log into the server and you look at the guy his name tag will say Moglin instead of player127 however it will not change it will not change his name for like everyone in the server so if someone else logs in and he looks at the guy it'll say player127 and not Moglin. Now the reason people use this is mostly because um, they're famous on YouTube or they've got a ton of alts so if you, got a t if you have a ton of alts it's really it's it's really helpful because it'll say Moglin instead of player57 whatever's um, but yeah so uh, this is mostly used for famous youtubers so that their alts don't get banned and uh, people with a lot of alts so yeah now that I've explained that we're going to go into fontrender.java and uh, you can find this in net.minecraft.src and then we're going to hit control and F and we're going to look for render string at POS or position now we're going to keep hitting find until we get to this third uh, render string and you're going to get this now we're going to go to the second to the last line and we're going to hit enter and we're going to start a new line we're going to hit uh, we're going to type in par1 with a capital S str equals par1 and then with a capital S str dot replace all and uh, a and all is capitalized and then we're going to um, uh, put in an opening and closing parentheses and then an opening and closing quotation mark um, and then this is where you put the guy's username so uh, I have two alts you know actually I'm just gonna put in player127 and then then we uh, hit comma and then another two quotation marks and then now this is where you can actually change the guy's name so I'm just gonna change it to Moglin because that's my username and then end it off with a semicolon so every time player127 logs in it'll change the name to Moglin um, so yeah you can do this as many times as you want um, I know it can be a bit tedious but trust me it's really helpful if, if you have a ton of alts because it, really, it, it makes it easier for you to tell who's who um, but yeah so let's do another one just do the exact same thing replace all and excuse the lag I'm on a bit older computer than I usually am um, so yeah let's do player 567 and then Moglin okay so yeah that's how you code name protect it's really really easy it's really simple um, but it can get a bit tedious but yeah so I'm not going to show you how this works because um, I don't have a server up um, but yeah so I'll catch you guys in the next one and uh, yeah, bye.